Hello everybody, I'm here at the red carpet of the Taj Black Tie Charity Ball for Unsung Heroes in Uniform, a night which plans to be picture perfect in more ways than one. The big man of the night, the GM of the Taj Palace Hotel, Mr. Taljinder Singh. How has it been? It's been like this. This is the fourth year. It's already been three consecutive years and it's been absolutely brilliant. So how is the fourth year looking? Taj Public Service Welfare Trust was set up in the aftermath of 2611. And it just doesn't deal with uh, tragedies which are related to uh, martyrs in action. It was also related to responding to natural disasters like the Uttarakhand disaster and then before that the Bihar tragedy or the Ladakh floods. So the trust responds to all kinds of uh, situations and disasters. And tonight's event is very important because we are raising funds over here for a section of uh, the Indian Army which is the soldiers who are grievously wounded. They are quadriplegics or tetraplegics. And uh, we are raising funds to assist them normalize their lives and they reside at Mohali and at Kirki in Pune and so it's very very important that we uh, you know give the, uh, the the assurance to armed forces personnel that no matter what happens the nations behind them and we will look after them. A red carpet which led to a simply sumptuous charity gala honouring our unsung heroes, all the soldiers and the families fighting for the nation. complete with the perfect entertainment any Jawan would be proud of. As we all know, no one can party like a man in uniform. I'm standing in front of one of Parish Mehti's works, a painting I definitely cannot afford, but which is a part of the 35 paintings at this auction, the proceeds from which will go to the armed forces and their families. Charity, of course, was the main highlight this night, and approximately 35 paintings by some of the best artists in the nation went up for bidding at a silent auction. Proceeds from which went to our armed forces. See, we take out uh, we so much uh, from the society. It is always wonderful to return at least something that if it can come for somebody's benefit. So that's why we always try to do some kind of at least little bit. Charity. The era of people contributing in a non-threatening environment has arrived in India and I only hope with you know NDTV's partnership which to my mind I have to say and not because you're here I think what NDTV has done is that it continues to show its compassionate side. You know the whole Jai Jawan uh, 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 thing of celebrating our armed forces linking it to this even makes strategic compassionate sense for NDTV. No nation should forget their soldiers that's a very important part, that's a part of national pride and identity and that this is pursued actively is a very good sign. Our armed forces, the police and the teachers should be paid well. Yes. And they're the real people. I mean the teacher, the police and the army looks after our country. And it wasn't just the usual Delhi crowd and corporates who turned up to cheer for our soldiers but even Couture came calling. 
My heart goes out to the soldiers who, who fight for us, who are there protecting us, and we don't really spend enough time thinking and giving them the due that they uh, deserve. The fact is that, you know, this is being done for a noble cause, and this is not my first time here for this event. Uh, it's my third event.